Are you mapping out your retirement and getting a plan together? Or maybe you're approaching RMD age, required minimum distributions, and wondering how those can be an impact in your plan, how they look, and really kind of the basic understanding of what that could be, uh, you know, what the impacts could be in your plan, short term and long term. Check out this video as we take a deep dive into RMDs. Thanks for stopping by the channel. I'm Logan Sadler, and I'm the host of this channel. This is the Financial Beat YouTube channel. And uh, as always, we're here to bring you some good insight and some valuable information about retirement planning. And uh, today's going to be no different. So we have a good video we wanted to jump into. A lot of uh, the planning we've been having with clients, because again, I am a financial advisor, so I'm constantly meeting with people. Most of our clients and our conversations are centered around retirement planning. And uh, today's no different, like I was mentioning. So we're going to dive into RMDs, required minimum distributions. Now, many of you out there, if you're in your early 60s or 50s, you probably really haven't put much thought into this at this point. But as you go throughout your retirement journey, RMDs uh, do become a talking point, typically around mid-60s or so. And then as you're approaching 70s, they do become a more of a hot button. So what is an RMD? Basically, once you hit a certain age, Uncle Sam says you have to begin withdrawing a certain amount out of your retirement plans, qualified plans. So 401ks, IRAs, you know, any types of accounts like that, 403Bs, any, any qualified retirement plan. Now, um, the only thing that are excluded from these is the Roth component. So if you have a Roth IRA, those do not have RMDs, which is another reason uh, a lot of people tend to look at the Roth conversions or Roth contributions. So check out some of our other videos on that. Um, but typically, any qualified accounts can have an RMD on them once you begin uh, age. Right now, they've restructured a lot of those. So if you haven't watched our other video on RMDs that talks about the ages, but uh, typically they start at now, they've moved it from 70 and a half to 72. Now they've pushed it back to 73. And for some of you watching this video, might even be 75. So uh, check out some of the other videos on that we've done on that. But in this scenario, I wanted to talk about specifically the impact to the retirement plan. So I actually ran you guys a, uh, a scenario here like I love to do, because we could talk about it all day long, but it's nice to see some actual uh, numbers on paper and see what the effects could be. Now, again, disclosure here, this is not an actual example. This is not uh, predicting market returns or guaranteeing anything, just showing you guys some of the impacts of what could happen to RMDs on your retirement plan. So let's go ahead and jump over. This is Joe and Sue. So um, we're gonna look through this. Uh, Joe is uh, turning 75 and Sue is 67. So when you're looking at this right here in 2023, you're gonna be able to see um, their account. They had $600,000 in an IRA. Um, and again, uh, shows their ages there. I am assuming, again, just an assumption of a 5% rate of return. Now, this is not guaranteeing that or saying that this is what the investment's average, just, just giving you an example. Now, this shows you the RMD would start out at 75 at around $24,000 per year. The biggest thing that a lot of people don't factor in with their RMDs is the impact to this as you go throughout the later years of the plan. So as you see, you know, by the time they're in there, he's in his 80s, the RMD has increased to uh, $30,000 per year. So even though his account value and his account was still having a decent return, it was starting to get eroded by the RMDs. The biggest thing a lot of people don't plan for in their retirement is that increase. As you can see down here in those later years, it can get up pretty dramatically as far as how high the RMD can get. The biggest thing is too, if you look, even with a decent rate of return, his investments by the time he was 96 could be down somewhere around 38, or sorry, $383,000 approximately. So this shows you one of the biggest things I've seen is so many of you out there, uh, when it comes time for RMDs, you don't want to start taking them yet and you're required to. So, uh, you know, this chart gives you a really good idea of some of the rundowns of how an RMD could look. Again, some of you might have more than 600,000. Some of you might have um, a lot more, but it looks looking at this just gives you a rough draft. One of the biggest things is if you're 72, 73, 74, 75, you might say, well, I don't want to touch that money, right? I don't want to pay more in taxes. I don't want to look at anything. Uh, I want to leave that to my, to my kids or my heirs, and that's their inheritance. Why do I have to take out an RMD? That's the biggest thing I see a lot of our retirees. Maybe you have a big pension. Maybe you have some other good income sources, and you don't have to touch, you don't want to touch your, uh, your qualified accounts. 
This could be all the more reason some good in-depth planning ahead of time could sometimes help limit some of these frustrations or uh, taxable events down the road. Because the thing is with the RMD is it does go up each year you have a birthday. So the amount you're gonna have to take up significantly increases. And it means you have more and more taxes coming out. Again, forecasting 10, 15 years down the road, we have no idea what tax rates can look like at that time. So it's super important to understand the impact of the RMD, as well as a lot of the time people go, oh, I don't wanna to touch my principal, right? Well, as you can see here in this scenario, even averaging a 5% return in this assumption, it still did get into the principal there pretty quick, even with a decent rate of return. So very important to understand the ins and outs of that making sure that you're kind of getting a rough draft plan for how to approach RMDs. The younger, just like everything else, the younger you start planning for these RMDs and getting a game plan together for either Roth conversions or other tax planning topics and strategies um, could be very beneficial. So hopefully you enjoyed that overview on RMDs. I just wanted to bring you guys some quick impact there as far as what that could look like in your plan. So hopefully you enjoyed. If you haven't yet, go ahead and click subscribe and uh, go ahead and like and comment on the videos and let us know what other videos you guys might want to see. Again, I'm Logan Sadler. Thanks for stopping by.